How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Hot Wheels expansion not only added the Hot Wheels expansion itself, but it also added a few things which people without the expansion would actually be able to use as well. And these are the new Event Lab Hot Wheels track pieces. While these make more sense within the Hot Wheels expansion itself, you can use these on the mainland. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you every new feature to do with the track pieces as there is a new feature in Hot Wheels itself. And then I'm going to show you every single piece of track that you can now place on the map. I've made a map where I've laid them all out side by side so we can take a look at everything you can now build with the new track pieces. If this video is helpful, guys, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out loads. Let's get into it. So the track pieces are just within Event Lab and they have been added to the collection of pieces that you can already place down. However, they are genuine Hot Wheels pieces which can snap together. Now on the Hot Wheels expansion, you will find areas like this on the map. These are sort of Event Lab starting points. These are points which you can go to and start a race from that area and it actually gives you a bit of free track in front of you to start from. If you try and build a Hot Wheels track on any of the other races, you're already on a track and you can't really build on a track. Do you know what I mean? You need an empty track in front of you where you can connect to and start your own Hot Wheels track. And thankfully, as I said, Playground Games have added these sort of event lab markers around the Hot Wheels map where you can go to and it will give you a fresh piece of track in front of you to start your map from. I don't know what you'd call these. Would you call them a build stub? You know, a stubby bit where you can start your track from. Nevertheless, there are these around the map. Now, these are not on the Mexico map because you don't really need them because you can just sort of start your track anywhere. Now, it's very self-explanatory how it works. If you go to one of these event lab markers, you can use the entire collection of track pieces to use and extend the starting points it gives you. And then you can let your imagination go wild. Now, let's have a look at each individual part that they've added for us to use to build our own tracks for. We're going to go to the Mexico map for this. So there are seven categories. We have short straights, which is exactly what it said, short straight bits. There are then long straights, which are basically just longer version of the straights. We've got short curves, which there's actually quite a lot of. Long curves, which is not as many of, but some. Junctions, which is sort of the miscellaneous blue parts. Loops very self-explanatory, these are loops, and then accessories like boosters and just little mini bits to make your track a bit more detailed. So let's have a look at all of these short straight bits. These bits are all quite basic, as you would expect. You'll probably end up starting with some of these on your area. Straight bits, straight bits that are cambered, you know, sort of slightly angled down, slightly angled up. As you'd expect, there's only a few of these. I'm going to view through them. If I don't speak for long enough, I'm going to cut off the face cam and just let you look at all of the pieces. The second category is long straights. These are basically the short straights, but times two, you know, angled up a bit more, angled down a bit more, just longer pieces than the short pieces, but still directed the same, if that makes sense. The next category, which is weirdly the biggest category of all of them, short curves. There are a ton. I didn't realise there would be this many variations of a short curve, but you've got cambered left curves, curves that start straight and then end up sidewards, sidewards to straight. There is there are just tons of combinations of short straights or sorry, short curves for the Hot Wheels track pieces. I can imagine you will be finding most of your curves in this category as there's just so many. The next category is long curves. These are basically exactly the same as short curves. There's not as many, but there are just longer versions of the short curves, as expected. It's weird that they've not done as many though, so some of them will be missing longer versions. Mm -hmm. 
The next category is junctions. This is where some of the miscellaneous junctions are. These are quite similar to each other. You'll find the same piece with or without barriers. So, you know, the Y junctions and the sort of the T junctions. You'll find the same ones in this category with and without barriers. So if your track is in the sky, you can have the barriers on it. If your track is on ground level, you can have no barriers so you can drive off the Hot Wheels track onto the mainland. There's lots of variations that it gives you here. The next category is loops. Now there are only four of them. One of them is a left hand loop. One of them is a right hand loop. And then you've got the same two loops again, but one of them with a flat starting point and one of them with a curved starting point. And the last and final category is accessories. This is where lots of the miscellaneous stuff you will find to add details to your track. The main thing is the boosters, as you can see here, that obviously give you a speed boost. You can actually combine these together to make sort of super boosters, I guess you'd call them, but the boosters are found in the accessory category and then you've got all the weird stuff like the festival sort of canopy i don't know what you'd call it the festival thing that actually puts out some music lights flags flag clips so you can clip flags and stuff to your track using these clip things just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff now unfortunately once you've got to this point you realize that you can't actually place any of the special tracks down there are no magnetic tracks there are no fire rings, ice tracks, water rapids. There is none of that to select and build your own tracks with. So unfortunately, you're only restricted to the orange and blue tracks. And at least we have the boosters. Can you imagine if they wouldn't have given us boosters? That would have been very annoying. But those are every single singular piece of Hot Wheel track that you can now place in Horizon 5. Go and build your own track pieces, guys. It works as expected. They all snap together. All of the sort of the, the dome things you will find on the beginning and end of each piece, that's what you snap together. It's very self-explanatory. I don't need to explain how to do that for you guys, but you can build with these pieces on Mexico or on Hot Wheels at the Event Lab starting markers. I can't wait to have a play with this, although I am still, it's a, it is a bit of a shame that there is no ice or magnetic tracks to place down. But oh well. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.